Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm at the Chicago Auto Show taking a look at this 2022 Toyota Tundra Limited. Uh, this one does have the smaller cab size, which is actually pretty unique because it's the only uh, Tundra at the show that has the smaller cab. This Limited is um, one of two of the top trim levels for the Tundra. You are gonna have pretty much every single safety feature imaginable with this vehicle. Starting off up front with the redesign, you have an absolutely massive front grill to maximize cooling. Fog lights are going to be in the bottom portion of the grill, which is a pretty unique spot for them. Under the fog lights, you are going to have your parking, front facing parking sensors. This vehicle does have the 360 degree camera system with your front facing camera right there. These vents are actually functional for increased cooling. Black LED headlight bezels black extended fender flares blacked out trd wheels with some falcon looks like uh, wild peak ats on them at3s color matched and black mirror caps this is a very unique color um, i actually really like this brown i like that kind of darker rv brown i know ram has a really cool um, brown that matches uh, campers i like that a lot pretty unique there's your mirror mounted backup camera, side facing camera I should say. Chrome Tundra badging, cab length running boards, chrome door handles. As you'd expect, blind spot monitoring is included. Your limited badge is actually on the back of the smaller door. You do get splash guards with this guy. TRD 4x4 off-road badges right there your full LED tail lamps. And if you notice something about the tail lamps, there is no white reverse lights. And that is because those are right down there and there. You got rear backup sensors, your four pin and seven pin connectors. You also have a um, LED light and backup camera, I believe right over here, which makes hooking up a trailer a lot easier. Overall, I think this is a pretty sporty looking truck. Um, this one, again, is a little bit different. It does not have the single pane glass that slides. It has the traditional, um, what is it? 40, 40, 20 uh, window. Massive third brake light and cargo lamp with your backup camera uh, for the mirror and then your cargo camera as well. Right here we have your fuel fill port just overall I, I really like the redesign of this truck um, at first I was I'll be honest with you guys I didn't really like it all that much but actually being at the show taking a look at it 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 looks really awesome so with that being said let's take a closer look at the interior so the lighting isn't all that great I am going to keep this door open to maximize the amount of light in here so that you guys can see a little bit better on the door, we actually have all the window controls, the lock and unlock button, and then the mirror controls. This guy does have two seat position memory. Right over here, we have a bunch of buttons for various things, including your cargo lamp, automatic headlights, automatic start stop on off, dimmer switch for the instrument cluster, odometer, heated steering wheel, and your power button for the uh, power plug in the bed of the truck. Coming up to the instrument cluster on this limited, it is a analog tachometer and speedometer, and then you have a digital readout in the middle. I don't know how well that's coming through on camera for you guys. Really nice leather wrapped steering wheel with mild bolsters, eh, mild to medium aggressive bolsters at 10 and two. You have this kind of stippling on the side of the steering wheel as well, which is nice. This control pad right here controls the center LCD display. You also have steering wheel mounted audio controls on both uh, left and right side of the steering wheel. Here we have all the safety feature and cruise buttons for the vehicle, including your gap adjustment for the um, adaptive cruise control, as well as your lane keep assist button. Coming up top, massive storage tray up here with a 12 volt outlet. I believe this is a 15 inch touchscreen display, don't quote me on it. Uh, wireless, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. All of the HVAC controls are going to be right here, including the H or the uh, heated and ventilated driver and passenger seats. Push button start. 
integrated trailer brake control, uh, tow haul button. I believe this is your cargo um, button, cargo uh, cargo light button, or it's the your uh, uh, cargo camera button. I'm not 100% sure. Traction control off, hazard lights, rear locking diff, wireless charging mat right there with some storage at the bottom, your hold button, electronic parking brake, gear selector with TRD logo on it with manual plus minus, all of your drive mode selectors right here, you have your off-road crawl mode, MTS, tow haul, and drive mode. Push button transfer case, something pretty unique about this is you actually have to push it in and then slide it to your desired um, setting. Too high, four high, four low. That brings us back to this pretty unique center armrest slash storage console. This portion right here does slide back and forth, which is pretty cool. The driver and passenger have access to this. There's a button on the passenger side as well as the driver's side. Push it and that gives us access to USB, USB Type-C, and some change storage right there. I really do like this center armrest. Really nice leather seats in this Limited. Soft leather up on the dash as well. Pretty nice glove box right there and it does have uh, shelves in it. USB outlet. The vanity is LED lit for passenger as well as your driver. LED dome map light master controls. All the controls for the sunroof and the power sliding rear window right there. And then you have some glasses storage, if that'll come through for you. And then your video camera rear view mirror, which seems like a staple now in the uh, automotive industry. So overall, again, you probably heard it a dozen times um, if you've seen my videos, I absolutely love the redesign of this tundra everything just flows everything is easily within reach of the driver um, i love you know resting my hand right here being able to control my drive modes uh, you know being able to shift gears real easily they did a very very good job with this redesign let's take a look at the back so unfortunately uh, I will not be able to get into the backseat of this truck. I did put on a few pounds from the uh, Cervezas uh, sickness that has been going around lately. Uh, you do have storage underneath the seats which is really nice. Actually you have a decent amount of it. I do believe you got a cup holder right here, storage compartment, and then USB-C, USB, and then 120 volt power outlet right there. That center seat does fold down into an armrest slash cup holder. Then you also got your LED dome map lights up top with your integrated hanger hooks on the back of the cab. You have a really nice bed on this truck, four tie down points, one in each of the four corners. Probably the most aggressive uh, truck bed liner material I've ever felt. Um, it <laughs> may as well be sandpaper, so your stuff is not moving in the bed. Your power plug is gonna be right here. It does have the cargo management system and you do have LED bed lights on both driver and passenger sides. And then again, your cargo lamp and cargo camera is gonna be up top right there. This truck is very, very nice. It is a great refresh. I think Toyota did an absolutely amazing job with this truck. Like I said, when I was going through it, everything just kind of flows. It makes sense. It's very user friendly. I think they absolutely knocked it out of the park. So with that being said, if you enjoyed the YouTube video, please smash that like button. It greatly helps with the YouTube algorithm. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more auto show content and check out all the affiliate links in the description below. Like always, thanks for watching and have a great day.